Do 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 draw D and D. Why, hello there, Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. Welcome to another episode of Draw D and D. In this episode, we're going to draw, actually, do some digital painting. And some digital painting is something I've always kind of struggled with trying to figure out, and I think I'm starting to make a breakthrough here. So instead of trying to figure it all out and then come back and show you guys what I've learned, I'm going to take you guys along the process because I think it's more fun and maybe you guys can help me out too if you have some tips or tricks or advice or whatever. Or other tutorials that could be helpful, please share them with me. So this guy looks like, I didn't want to make a uh, regular human colored skin, so we're going to go through this process in this video. I'll maybe do a little less detail or a little less finished um, to save on time, but um but yeah, we're going to go through this whole process. So let's let's randomly generate a guy. So this was like, you know these genocide? I think that's what they're called. There's like earth, fire, wind, and water. And uh, their skin's different color. I didn't want to do human skin because I don't want to worry about, oh, the skin's a little too yellow. Oh, it's a little too pink. And then I don't want to worry about that. I'm just trying to get the basics of digital painting. So let's, uh-oh. Where's my trusty D20? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to close my eye and point at the screen. Oh, wait, I found it. I found it. 15. So he is going to be a warlock. Okay, cool. So let's make a warlock. Um, oh, and then what kind of genocide? So we'll do earth, wind, and fire. That's the band. Plus, wa plus water. Earth, wind, fire, water. That's the order. All right. So we got a one. So earth. Oh, another green one. All right, we'll just make this guy. I'll make this guy a little more brown. That's good because I'm already practiced drawing like a kind of buff, sturdy dude. So um, we'll just go ahead and like do another one of those. Cool. And uh, next time we'll give him we'll give him a weapon too because I didn't draw that into the pose. So let's get started. Make a new layer and I'm gonna make. Uh, why aren't all the bumps selected? What? Something's in the wrong folder, guys. This is crazy. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna show you some cool stuff, like, uh, some, like, color, color hacks. Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. Alright. So let's keep the colors out. That's gonna be helpful. And let's start drawing. So we're going to make this guy like a brownish color. Let's go with that instead of making him green. Green is pretty cool though. Or maybe a more like brownish orange. Let's just do that. Alright, whatever. So let's just sketch out an easy, an easy pose. I feel like when you're working on something you're not comfortable with, like I'm not super comfortable with digital painting then um, I shouldn't try to like draw like a masterful scene with all this stuff because that's not what I'm comfortable doing. I can draw these figures, I can draw certain poses more comfortably than other uh, male figures more comfortable than female. So I'm not going to try to digitally paint a female character. I'd rather do something, let's do a male character so that I can, you know, focus on the digital painting, not on the drawing and uh, start working on that. So, um, and so, oh yeah, I was going to give him a weapon to start with. So how can we incorporate that? What kind of weapon should he have? Let's just keep it simple. I'm going to keep everything really simple. Okay. Doing the same figures we do in the Sketcharama. The first episode of Sketcharama. And I'm going to put the sword in at this stage, or the weapon in at this stage, because I didn't do that last time. And then I was like, uh, the hands aren't really, like, in a position where that makes sense. So um, so I thought I should put it in earlier on to make sure that compositionally it makes sense. It's not getting crowded and lost. Alright, so and then how can we make this guy a little more Earth Genocide? I think he's fine. He's pretty bulky. I make his thighs pretty thick. And maybe big feet. 
I wasn't thinking that. The other guy was supposed to be an orc, I think. I didn't really come across like that. Alright, whatever. Don't worry about too much at this stage. Oh, it's a warlock. Oh, I forgot. Totally forgot we're making. We should make an Earth Genocide warlock. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Royal can have a sword, man. I mean, we're going to give him a skull on his sword. That's freaking awesome. And then, also, let's have him looking down a little bit. Let's see, this is giving him more attitude. So making just a generic kind of character. I like why so I like this the random generating stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can get him looking down a little more. It's tough. We struggle with that. But he's pretty he's pretty buff still. And then Oh no, I was gonna have him like this. With thumb on the outside I think. Right? Yeah, okay. So I have to erase all of this. It's okay to be really messy at this stage. Because it actually kind of looks good at, in, in later parts, it, I, I noticed on the other thing. But I don't like the color of this. I think I'm going to make this whole thing darker. You know what, let's do that real quick. Just go to Image, Adjustments. You should go Hue Saturation. Do a lot of things a lot of different ways. And then let's just make the darkness. And then the Hue. I want it a little more red. Alright, that should be good. Cool. And I'm going to sample that by holding an option. I'm just using the basic brush for all this. Uh, okay. No, I don't like that. Hmm. His hands curled in. Kind of killing me. See, I shouldn't be doing something that's too crazy because now I'm not focusing on digital painting. So I'm focusing on trying to figure out how to pose a hand. But I want this guy to be a warlock. So let's 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 interpret warlock. Let's go necromancer from Diablo 2. Remember, they always had these shrunken heads. That'll be fun to draw. Let's do that. And this is a lot easier hand position. I don't have to worry about fingers and stuff too much. I will leave it like that for now. This is an Earth Genocide Necromancer. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Okay, cool. So what I did first was the body, and then I came back and did it. Oh, I didn't even do the body this way. Well, we're going to have to do it. I used a lighter color, and then I think that kind of came in as the mid-tone. So you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to image, adjustments, hue saturation. I think uh, if we make just the lightness, maybe a little more saturation. Okay, and then the other thing I didn't do is, okay, I'm going to show you the cool, so let's say we want that to be the guy's basic color, is that a good color? Uh, I mean, that no, should be lighter, like, something like that, maybe. Okay, so we want to make a color palette, and then what we're going to do, so let's do this for the skin is just going to be a few colors we're going to make it go cooler if you haven't seen my video the one thing you need to know about light and shadow or something like that you should definitely watch it because it really is the one thing you need to know but basically you see here how I'm look at it over here it's on the cooler end towards the green warmer this one should be warmer so let's go warmer here like that I oh, know we went too warm. We went too warm. Mayday, mayday. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay. So he gets warmer as the light goes and cooler in the shadows. So, I don't know. Let's go with that. 
I'm not sure if this is going to be a great color scheme, but the other thing is we can adjust this afterwards, as long as the relationship the, between the colors is good. So now I'm going to go in and kind of start marking the most, and I'm going to use option to sample their color, that other color if I want to get something in, but I'm going to start marking the, the most uh, important parts of the body. And I'm not going to worry too much about the details, because see, I covered up a lot of the body there. I don't know, maybe I will here, maybe I won't. But since we're trying to make this a faster, you know, I don't want this video to take quite as long as it took me to do uh, that guy. I'm going to work a little faster. I should speed it up and stuff, but my computer is so slow, it takes forever to do that, even though it's like the most simple thing to do. I have to like, just opening the program and stuff, and then sometimes it just crashes for no reason. Oh my gosh. So I'm doing edit free videoing, videography. It's a style. It's a style, even though I told you the practical reason, I'm going to just take that back and say, you know what? It's a stylistic choice. Don't judge me. Who are you to be judging on me? No, okay, you know what, yeah, for the sake of time, I should, uh, oops. So, let's say the light source is coming from the left. Yeah, for the sake of time, I really should just, uh, kind of not worry about it. See, this, this guy's too normal. That's not Earth Genocide, no, that's not at all. Oh my gosh. I did not prepare for this. I should have I should have stuck with the green color. Let's do it. I think we can just do that super quickly. I'm cheating a lot with this hue and saturation thing this time. <sighs> Alright, he's like that. That's our next guy. That's it. That's him. That's him. I don't care what you say. Alright, so I'm kinda of thinking like where's the light coming from this way? And I'm using what I know of anatomy to kind of try to lay it in as best I can. And I'm using basically three tones. So I've got a really dark tone, this dark tone right here, a middle tone, and then this light tone up here. And the middle tone is kind of the tone I used to sketch it with too. So what I did in the other thing is I kind of took my time with this, and that's the thing with digital painting, I think you really have to take your time. And that's why I don't think you see too many tutorials, because people, you know, it takes, like, I mean, there are a lot of tutorials, actually, no, I shouldn't say that, but I find that a lot of them are either speed painted or explained, but not, like, shown every step. There's some, obviously, there are some out there that go through in real time, but I can see why, man. Stuff takes forever. Okay, so let's assume I'm happy with it. Okay, let's say I got somewhere to to where to where it is there. See here, I made it ended up making it darker because there's too light there, so it's probably good that I'm going this way. Okay, wait one and two. So I'll keep this one really rough. I wonder if it'll still have the same effect though. I'm worried it won't. Alright, and then the Earth's Genocide, he's got his, I gotta remember that he's got his, his crazy skull. He's, uh, so let's just, so we can change the whole leg in like that. And I'm only working on one layer so far, so this is like really simple, this is why I like, oh, you guys, you should be doing this along with me if you can be. But, maybe not actually, this might be something that's good to like, kind of watch and think about, imagine yourself doing. And then when you get there, you'll be like, okay, I know what to do. I know what I'm going to do first. Blah, blah, blah. Do a lot of you guys digital paint? I wonder if most people digital paint or just do more traditional mediums or what the deal is. So if you want to let me know in the comments, I'd be very curious. Um, Alright. And then I got the mixer tool over here. I don't like this color. Ugh. It's bugging me. It's so, like, bland. Let's keep adjusting it a little more. A little more. I'd rather it be this color. That's kind of cool. 
and maybe more saturated. Fine. Well, I just leave it at that. That's it. That's it. So then I got the mixer guy, and then should I think they turn the color off. So you turn the color off. So I think it just samples whatever color is in there, and then you kind of just can go in here and start to blend everything together and mix it up. And not like everything together, but I think it's good to take like somewhere you put like the really big highlights. So I should have actually done some more of those. Didn't do too many. And then use the, I like to keep the eraser completely like 100% opacity. So I can use it to just sculpt. And then not really use the eraser when I'm working inside the body. I just sample different colors to cover it up. But this is just to get that clean, clean contour, hopefully. That's the goal. See in there, I'm not going to erase. I'm going to take, oops. Take a little bit there. Okay. I'm not taking this guy's character. I don't know. Let me do a little more, yeah, like that. A little more block headed would be cooler. Move everything down, maybe. Then we'll give him uh, some shading on his face. If you're on the right side, it's supposed to be in shadow. Alright, whatever, it's fine. That's fine. Whatever, this is a little big. Let's scoot it over, so. We use our photoshopping trick and just blast away. And also make it a little smaller, it seems a little big. These guys seem kind of monstrously large. I mean, it's a sense you get. I think it's also because his legs are long. So if he was buff but short, his legs would be more, uh, be less lengthy. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright. Or I think that might be the, like a contributing factor at least. Alright, so I think we can stop here. It's nice to give little highlights like that. Um, but we're going to cover a lot of this up, I'm pretty sure, with the uh, armor and stuff. So let's go on to that step. And I don't know, I kind of like this even before I blended it. So I might stick with that next time. Oh no, I didn't use my uh, my trick. Actually, I can still use the trick. Okay. So what is the trick? So I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to turn it to opacity. Last time I did 40, this is this right here. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I mean, last time I did 60, I'll do 40 this time. I'm going to grab a color, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this color, I'm going to put it over everything. And what it's going to do is it's going to unify the the colors, because they're all going to have a little of whatever color I choose here and there. So let's go ahead and we're going to uh, use this so that it doesn't, now I can't paint on the transparency. Only on that. So look at that color harmony, too much color harmony, too much color harmony. Let's go 10%. Oh, and I used multiply. That was the other one. Or no, overlay. You can use different ones. Either multiply or overlay. I would use multiply if you're using a darker color. Overlay if you're using a lighter color. So I can overlay that color. Interesting. It's a little strong. See, I'm adjusting the opacity based on how much of an overlay effect I want to have. Um, I don't think this, maybe this orange yellow color isn't what's isn't happening. If we do a bluer color. See, that makes him a blue genocide. You know what? Whatever. I don't care. The earth one's not working. We already got an earth one. We're making this a water genocide necromancer. That's right. I play by my own rules. Alright, cool. So then we can leave that. So the next thing we're going to want to do is... Okay, so now I know I've got this. I'm actually going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this color unify unification. 
layer. I was hoping I'd come up with something really cool, that's why I said it like that, and I didn't. But that's it. Tell you, that's it. Just a swatch of this color. So now all the colors are gonna have a little bit of that in it. And you'll see how this uh, plays out. As you can see the armor here, I made I used like grey colors for the armor, but then I overlaid it with this blue and then used that. And I think it has a kind of cool effect. Even the uh, red ruby, which looks really red there, is overlaid by this blue. It would have been a more, it's a slightly cooler red, but in relation to everything, it still looks vivid. Vivid, and I like that. Um, okay. So now that we're going to go ahead and underneath it, so we're on the layer underneath it over here, and i got to turn off this locking transparency. We're going to start putting down some colors. So here, let's get the colors for the steel. You know what, I'm going to do it over here, and then I'm going to pull the color unification layer over it. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to do it up here, I think. So a turn off opacity, go back to 100. Back to normal. There we go. All right. So we've got some steel, make it a little bit cooler. I think cool it this way for the shadows. A little bit. I'm going to sample this again. Go up and a little bit warmer. Not sure I want it to be much brighter than that. Uh, all right, whatever, that's fine. This will uh, little unify with this. So, uh, oh, okay. So I think I should draw the armor first, and then I'm gonna start doing all the color swatching. So I'm gonna actually grab this, keep it on the same layer as the armor. Right? Yeah. So right now I'm going to this step where I'm drawing it in. Before I do this, I should do this. Sorry for the, uh, not super organized, but we're learning as we go. We're learning as we go, y'all. Okay, cool. So this is a warlock. So let's try to give him some cool... Okay, good. Yes. Some cool warlock shoulders. Is that too extreme? It very well might be. And maybe, uh, just go behind his head. Is it, is, oh, this is really quite dramatic. Um, okay, let's give him a belt around his waist. Emphasize the the thick is is an ad thickness of his waist by having a tight belt there, and then uh, kind of shredded the shredded part of his tunic. And then. What if he has like a crazy headdress? A crazy like a uh, skull type thing. Like that. Would that be cool or no? Is that cool or lame? I think it's a little small, but I think it has potential to be cool. So let's just make it bigger and see if that is the case. So I'm going to click command H so I can hide it, so I can place it in there. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, let's leave it. Whatever. I don't know why I'm being so serious. And then, um, okay. Let's keep things simple. I'm not trying to, like, innovate and be all crazy right now. Oh yeah, deselect, it's secret select. Okay. So let's just put some bandage type stuff around his arms to keep things simple. I like how this one is coming done undone a little bit. I'm gonna reuse it. I don't care. Usually I, I care. I kinda like stay super original or something, but even more original than myself. That's for real. Can I do the hand with the body? I think so. <laughs> I mean, with the clothes, I think so. Alright, so right now I'm just going through. 
outlining everything semi roughly. Then I'm getting a little more detail. Eh, not that much. It's nice to do it on a different layer because I can do something like that. Drawing on a different layer. And then what do I want to do with the should I have him in a robe? Will he be able to fight in said robe? I don't know. The blue beard. It's kind of disturbing. Uh, I don't know about this robe. Mama says stressed out, you guys. Alright, let's just do pants like that. In the same pants as before. I'm not gonna get too crazy. That's what I call adventuring pants. This is adventuring boots. And that's just what adventurers wear. Ever since they saw Aladdin, and they were like, oh my gosh, like I got the coolest pants. I need that, yes. And that was it. That was the beginning of adventure pants. You guys, this is getting a little crazy. If you're still watching this, am I ranting? I believe I am. This foot out here makes him look like, I'm just relaxing. I'm not a scary warlock. It's really bothering me. You know what I mean? He's kind of like sticking it out like, I'm just posing for a picture in a magazine. Not like, I will tear your skull out and drink, drink your bones. I will drink your bones. That's more of the effect I'm going for. So, uh... So, yeah. That's right. Okay, cool, you know what, let's just go with this, this is kind of cool, it's kind of chillin', whatever. I want to add something else, like, okay, let's see, what would they have in Diablo? He would have an amulet. So let's give him a cool little amulet. Might have, like, some runes. Oh, yeah, let's just uh, have, like, a little thing hanging here, like a samurai with, like, two runes. Yeah. Iki. Iki. Ikibasho. Iki. Basho. No. I thought I had it, but I didn't. I'm having a lot of those moments today. Alright. So we're keeping his skin blue, but everything else we're gonna go. We're gonna go crazy with, yo. I guess I mean, have a whole screen. I'm doing this little thing right here, but I like working at this size. This one I did a little bigger actually. So, but it's cool. The smaller the faster it works. So I'm gonna leave it at this size. And uh, you know what? I'll make a duplicate of this layer just so we have a record, so we can look back and smile. So now we need to choose some colors. So let's give him like a crazy like red, like a blood red robe. I like a blood red like that. Well, that's gonna be the color of it will. And then, then we want it to be cooler. Oops, no, it's too. Maybe a little saturated, cooler, and darker. I went too far, I went too far. Okay, a little bit cooler, darker. Good, it'll be the shadow of his robe. And then we can make it lighter. And one for the Alright, this is gonna be pretty luxuriant. You can have some like this rune color is gonna be a little bit off white and it's good to put them next to each other to the other look. That's kinda of fun, but it's a little too bright. Good, that's a little better. So that's gonna be a color of the runes. Make them a little darker like that too. 
Okay, whatever. Um, what else we got? You did the skin color, so some bands. They're gonna be similar color to the runes. Gonna get a little different, just to have a tiny bit more variety. Like that. Okay, and I think I did this one. Yeah, and more of it. Okay. All right, whatever. I liked it before. What else? Shoes, kind of a leather color. Unless he's got a match in his outfit, and nah, that's a little crazy. So leather colored like that. Darker, cooler. For the shadow. Get this color again. Lighter, warmer for the light. And if you have a cool light source, a cool light source, like the moon, and then it'll be the opposite. The shadows will be warmer. Usually you have a warm light source. So this could be cool like if you were standing in front of like a blue fire, that would be sick. Let's make this guy like the skull thing green. Maybe that'll be one of the focal points. So like a greenish color like that. So it's cool. Green. Here, darker, cooler. Highlight, lighter, warmer. And, uh, that's it. Let's just say that's it. I think that's it. Okay, cool. So, now what are we going to do? We already made a copy of this. Okay, cool. So, we are going to move this color unification over here. Make it bigger so it covers the whole thing. Look at that. Everything has this blue hue. It'll still... So let's look. Let's start with... This is the fun part. I like this part. And you're just going to color it in. Just color it in. And try to keep the, the black lines you made. Try to keep the important ones visible. Alright, you got to figure out which ones are the important ones. Keep those visible. And if you're not sure, just kind of like... Don't worry about it too much. And then we get the dark one, and uh, we're gonna have the light source coming from the left. So this is really weird. This is not. Oh, oh, his arm. Oh no. And you can always go back to the black because it's on the same layer. I'm gonna outline that. I, I left his body not outlined, but I'm gonna outline everything. Um, what if there's like a stripe or like a, you know, some kind of symbol on there? Okay. Oh no, it should be part of this. Okay, this is going to look crazy. But that's what I thought about the other thing. That's what I thought about when I started with this blue. I was like, dang, this blue is crazy. Hopefully when all the other colors come in, it's going to tone up. But what I do think is like, this needs to be darker. You know? Shadows are not dark enough. Okay, this is a little weird though. I have to say. This is a very uh, Roblox got unique fashion taste. I don't know what's keeping his shoulders up. Do not ask me. But, regardless of the colors looking ugly, I hope you'll agree Oh, yeah, okay, we got the blue. I hope you'll agree at the end of this that there is some, like, the colors feel unified. It's not like a, the red and the green and everything is coming out of nowhere. It kind of feels like it fits together. I hope. It should, though. Because the theory is that it all has that little blue in it, so then it should, uh, the color should quote unquote play nice. Okay. No, I think it's got a little too much. That's what I'm feeling. Like this, I could probably turn the opacity down. Maybe I should have done it like that. And I think it's still okay to change. Because, um,. Because we're still keeping the same color blue, so let's go ahead and try that. I might even make it richer. 
That would be a good strategy to do on purpose, actually. It doesn't kind of ruin whatever. I'm supposed to be wearing it as a necklace. Oh no, I'm on the wrong layer. Oh no. Alright, alright, alright. No, no, we can't have it. We gotta get back to the right layer. Alright, you guys, I know you're being patient. Let me try to, let me try to speed this up. I don't want to speed it up too much, making it look just terrible. What is this supposed to be for? Is that the pants? Let's say that that's the pants. So, I'm gonna, like, usually I'll color it all one color. It doesn't really matter if you do the dark or the lightest color first. I think the mid or lightest color is easier to do than the dark. Actually, no, not necessarily. I think it's, like, a lot of people start from dark to light. So, let's just say it's a preference. I have a preference. This is weird. Alright, you guys, this is really weird with the colors. I'm gonna come straight out and admit it. This is not really... This is not occurring the way I envisioned it. And I just arbitrarily chose this color blue to unify with them. But, um, see, this is what I'm saying, like, I could figure this all out and then come, but, I don't know, this is, like, an interesting experiment. You guys, does it help you guys to see the process? I feel like it could. And also, you guys might try this and stumble across something, or figure something out, or know something from beforehand, and be like, oh, yeah, I know how to fix this issue. You shouldn't have chosen this color because you're crazy. And then you just pick the right color because apparently you know everything. So I like to imagine it's helpful. Apparently that line, those like grooves, they're called uh, fullers. I learned that today. I don't know why I said it that way. They're called fullers. <laughs> so if you want to add another color, you can pick whatever color you want. And then turn the opacity down to like 60 or whatever. Oh, we made another layer. Okay, so you just do it. You just do it right underneath. So just add the color right underneath there. And then sample it. So that's what I wanted to do for the bow. And then I'm going to make it a little darker, a little cooler. For the shadow side. And I think I'm getting to the point where. Okay, so let's pick a cool color. Let's say this thing is like that color. And so let me sample it. See how it came all the way to the blue? Make it darker. Oops. Alright, whatever. Oops. Is this gonna work if I make it like. Oh, because this should be white with black holes. No, but I don't like that. That looks lame. We're gonna make it black. And then I'm gonna put glowing yellow eyes. And I'm not going to use the blue to to uh to come over that. So in that what that what I'm hoping that will do is make it so those eyes are just like they pop out because they're not they don't fit in with the rest of the color scheme. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if it will work. Let's make it a red. I think you can see instantly how that does not fit with the color scheme. That is crazy. Now let's see if I take the red and I put it underneath here. And I sample it and bring it back. You see how even though that's still really bright. It fits a little bit better. It doesn't look like, whoa, why is that so jarring? It's not jarring. It doesn't catch the eye in a way that distracts from the rest of the piece because it has a bit more unity with the rest of the piece. Alright. I think, I think I can stop now because the rest of this is just going to be going through, you know, I could pick another color for the shoes and stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to give the zombie guy, I wanted that to have more color. So let me 
That's not good enough for me. So let me get real vivid and sample that. I think it went too vivid. Now we're getting into the realm of cartoons as if it wasn't cartoony enough. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, so I think that's it, right? What else is there to, to do? All that I would do now is maybe continue to, so I don't like this, maybe, you know, like, make tweaks, okay? Maybe this will warm it like that. No. Maybe like that color. Give it a, a band of silver over where this is. Anyways, oh no, what was I saying? At this point, I am going to, uh... To just add some highlights that's the last thing that I could do if I want to do something so here you know come in here and do like a really bright white color just to give it a little extra pop that's probably a bad place to put it but let's see for here hopefully that'll pop in a good way let's try it out Coming in, I'm trying to just bring out the forms where there's a dark. If there's a, a place where there's a contrast between dark and light, kind of extend, uh, intensify that contrast. So where there are these, put a little line in between, but leave a space like here. Look, oh my gosh, it's crazy. See how there's this light part. And dark, and then the line. That'll help it look like it's got a, it's, it's uh, got its form going on. Okay, cool. I'm sorry I had to look at the bottom left of the screen. I had to look there too, by the way. By the way, the whole time. Thanks for for caring. I bet none of you are gonna write a comment. Oh, I'm sorry you had to look at the bottom right. Okay, I'm just being annoying. Still making my video. <laughs> My wife just asked me. Alright. I think I'm going to wrap it up though. Let's give him some blood dripping. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling it. Feeling it. What were we going to name this fool? His name is. Gimzar. Kimzaro. <laughs> Alright, whatever you guys. I hope that was helpful. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. Oh no, it wasn't even recording. Or was it? Oh, it was.